A critical pre-flight test for Artemis 1, the first trip to space for a NASA astronaut, and new Webb Space Telescope images of neighbors in our solar system. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. On September 21st, teams at our Kennedy Space Center conducted a cryogenic demonstration test with the Space Launch System, or SLS, rocket for our upcoming uncrewed Artemis 1 flight test around the moon. The demonstration test was designed to allow teams to confirm the repair of a hydrogen leak that cropped up during a previous launch attempt in early September, evaluate updated procedures for loading the rocket with propellant, and conduct additional evaluations. Keep up with the latest Artemis One updates on NASA's Artemis blog at blogs.nasa.gov Artemis. Also on September 21st, NASA astronaut Frank Rubio launched to the International Space Station from Kazakhstan with two other members of the station's Expedition 68 crew. Later that same day, they docked to the station's ROSVET module and were welcomed aboard by the Expedition 67 crew, including NASA's Bob Hines, Chell Lindgren, and Jessica Watkins. This is Rubio's first spaceflight. Our Webb Space Telescope's first image of Neptune includes the clearest view of Neptune's rings since the images Voyager 2 captured during its 1989 flyby of the distant planet. Webb also captured seven of Neptune's 14 known moons, including Triton, which orbits Neptune in an unusual retrograde or backward direction. Additional studies by Webb of both Triton and Neptune are planned in the coming year. The Webb Space Telescope recently used its infrared capability to capture its first images and spectra of Mars. Images of the planet's eastern hemisphere captured by Webb's near-infrared camera show surface features such as craters and dust layers, as well as thermal emission, or light given off by the planet as it loses heat. Meanwhile, data from the telescope's first near-infrared spectrum of Mars could give astronomers additional details about the planet's surface and about its atmosphere. That strange noise is what a space rock crashing into Mars sounds like to our InSight lander. InSight detected seismic waves from four meteoroid impacts on the red planet in 2020 and 2021. This includes an impact on September 5, 2021, that made these craters. Not only are these the first impacts detected by InSight's seismometer since the spacecraft landed in 2018, but they also mark the first time seismic and acoustic waves from an impact have been detected on Mars. Our DART spacecraft is on track to intentionally crash into the asteroid moonlit Dimorphos on September 26. The views in this composite image of the Jupiter system were captured during recent testing with the spacecraft's imager and guidance systems to target and track Jupiter's moon Europa as it emerged from behind the planet, similar to how Dimorphos will visually separate from Didymos, the larger asteroid it orbits. DART, the world's first planetary defense test mission, is designed to deflect and alter the course of an asteroid should one ever be discovered that is a threat to Earth. Neither Dimorphos nor Didymos is a threat to Earth. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov.